It's almost every bird. There's a few off in the back of it, but feeding time. I'm really happy with my birds this year. Like that one there, she's lovely. The guy beside her, he's a good size. And they're a decent size right next to those big geese, too. Everyone's still looking scruffy from molting, for the most part. Although she's she's looking very lovely. I don't think I think she's done melting. Come on, geese, you're missing out on dinner. I don't think the geese like me being so close. The uh, the Chinese and the buffs are a little more wild. They're not as used to me yet. These chickens are growing real nice. So there's a mama, she's full grown, and that's one of her daughters. So they're getting close to the right size. I still got a ways to go, but almost there. In fact, the roosters are already the size of the full grown hen. See, that's the mama hen there, and that's a rooster there. Lacey here, the oldest hen, she's looking a lot better. Her feathers are coming in nice. Yeah, it's a little bit of mayhem at feeding time. We're being watched. He's watching us. One of the Muscovies was watching us, Gideon. Oh, hi. They look so nice when they're not buddy. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Gideon. I like the farm. Can you tell everyone what our farm name is? Rice Meadows Farm. Rice Meadows Farm. There you go. I love this farm. It's our reddest farm yet from all of our farms. Sure is. Look at that one. That's a nice bird. When we got our when we got our actual farm is really nice. So our our newest so our oldest farm also actual was right before we had our backyard farm. Yeah. Actually right after, I forget. <laughs> Mr. Crunkle getting your wing feathers. Yeah, he is. Mr. Crunkle's there. You can see his pin feathers in his wing. He's molting and he's got uh, got new wing feathers coming in. Which the old ones were clipped. Because when I got him, I didn't want him flying away. He's settled in enough now. I won't need to clip him again. You can see right there is the, the pin feathers. And a 
another month or so, I'm probably going to be sorting these birds. I will be finding a, a purebred buff Brahma rooster. And then I will pick the biggest, meatiest uh, dark rooster and the biggest, meatiest... Oh, they've all moved off. Red rooster, that's a crossbreed. And then, of course, I have my Barnavelda rooster, and then everyone else will go for meat. So there's one of the dark roosters, and that one. Yeah, I'll pick the biggest ones, because I'm, I'm looking for big, chunky meat birds. The biggest of the dark crosses, the biggest of the red crosses, and then uh, my two beer, pure breeds. Which will be one like him. And then I may keep all the hens. I've got to look. Any really small ones will go. But I'll definitely keep all the big girls. Hi. Hi. It's to a dock. Yeah, there's the uh, the dock for the Chichimon. We are on Manitoulin Island, right at the south, waiting for the Chichimon to come in, and we'll load up and head over to the Bruce Peninsula. But uh, we've climbed down to a quiet area. Boat! Horns! Ooh, away from the crowds. And the boat horns are honking! Yeah, where's that boat, do you think? I don't know, you might be right, dude. Gideon's very excited. But I am thrilled to be back on the lake shore and uh, listening to the waves. Gideon took his sandal off and stuck his foot in. I swished my hand around. I miss being on the water. There's the Chichimon coming in. And Gideon's very, very, very excited. It's, my, it's going to be my first time on the boat. Is that our boat, right? That's our boat. So we're on the Chichimon now. You can see we're on the move. That is a very big rope. I don't know what that rope's for. Your attention, please. The cafeteria, gift shop, and bar will close at 8 30. At the cafeteria, gift shop, and bar will close at 8 30. We are picking up speed, Gideon. Yeah, we are picking up speed. Oh, they're we working hard on that rope. We were before. We can see the places where we were. Yeah, that's where we were earlier. Yeah. And now the people there don't have to work anymore. Yeah, they're 
about to do a fire alarm. Well, I got back from the Bruce Peninsula to this beautiful site. Some very, very kind gentlemen from our church that we just started attending have come to do some haying for us. We got some 300-ish square bales in our barn for winter for our animals and I don't even know how many round bales and there's a team way off oh here they're coming up here that we're gathering and uh it's nice like they only cut for about four hours and they got a ton done and it cured in 24 which is nice they tetted it it's well dried um I'm excited. We have no way to sell it because we have no machine that can move round bales, but uh, we got it done. That makes me happy. I can get out in the fields a little easier, kind of see what the grass is like, what the conditions are. I'm very happy.